Hey, John here. Here's lick of the day number 59. This is an aggressive Dorian Blues picking lick. And as usual, you can find the link to the tabs in the description below or by clicking here on the screen. I'm going to play it once slowly and then break it down. We start here on the 7th fret of the G string. Alright, so this one is based on the Dorian blues scale combo and basically it's this shape. You've seen this before. So the blues component of it would be the flat five here and then we have the sixth, natural six for the Dorian. And then we have the ninth as well or the second also from the Dorian. And when we combine that, you get this very easy to remember fingering. So you got 7, 9, 10 on all three strings. And if I didn't mention that, this is in B minor. So here's the root. So basically we outline the, this pentatonic position, but do these notes. So that's the first part of the lick. Uh, and the sequence that I play, starting with a downstroke, just going in, into it with this ascending 6 from the seventh fret of the G string that far and from here we're gonna sort of pedal from this note but add uh, go between the B string G string B string G string and then B string again before doing a single string um, uh, sequence so it goes like this so it's kind of this Paul Gilbert type uh, pattern so but then we do a string skip version of that and I do that twice, so... And the third time, I go, out, um, go into the single string sequence. Uh, only thing to watch out for this one is that most people seem to be comfort more comfortable by playing any type of string skipping with outside picking, meaning you're outside of the strings. Uh, I think that's uh, an issue everyone should get over because should really be able to do it both ways. So, but if you really have a hard time here, this is a good thing to, to work on, but also try it by reversing the picking if you can play it easier then. But it really should be something you address. And it's very easy to address it. You just practice everything with alternate picking, starting a downstroke and an upstroke. And after a while, it doesn't bother you anymore. Anyway, so. So that's what we have. We do that twice, and then we go into this groups of four sequence. That far. Uh, but in terms of groupings uh, per note here on the string, it just turns out that this is basically like this uh, triplet thing. And then we have, and then we're here. But the sequence that I'm visualizing in my head is more of a that type of thing, right? But when you look at it in the in the tabs, you will see the grouping look a bit different. But that's how I see it anyway. So, so this is Yngwie type sequence. Where we move up 12th fret, and we go up to the fifth here, the key. And from here, I play a three string arpeggio, B minor. And uh, this fingering is uh, 14, 10 on the high E string, 12 on the B string, 11 on the G string. And the way that I pick this, I'm coming into this one with a downstroke. So down, pull up, up, down, 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 and then up, pull up. And then I bend from the fourth to the flat five. So hold that band, and I let it down, pull off the 10, and then end up on the root here. So if we put all of this together,
practice wise this one is really easy to practice you basically take uh, it's, it's almost like a picking exercise as it is so I would just sit there and repeat the, the this thing so you go between the and I can do that for hours on end if you want and I would move it around the fretboard so maybe start down here and just do it really slowly totally accurately put on a show that you like and then And keep going like that uh, when you do that type of practice though and I've mentioned this several times but I will keep mentioning it uh, and that make sure that you do it accurately because if you sit there and go like you know you play it sloppily that's what you're programming your mind to do so if you can see your 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 mind more like a sequencer that uh, you need to program slowly and then when you press play on that sequence hopefully the correct notes will pop out so really take this into consideration when you practice so if you sit there and play a lot of repetitions and you do it sloppily that's basically what you're programming your mind to do so don't be surprised when that comes out when you try to play for real right if you made it this far i assume that you like this video so please click like and subscribe of course if you have any questions just post them below otherwise i hope to enjoy this one and see you in the next one